Hello, Prime Minister. Thank Hi. you. Um, I suppose, first of all, let's start with the economy and the size of the state. I think it's fair to say, isn't it, that you are someone who wants to see a smaller state. What does that mean? What, what bits do you think the state is doing that's too much? Well, what I want to see is a faster growing private sector, because I want to see investment and enterprise across our country. I want to see high wage jobs for people. I want to see more opportunity. And also, I want to see more revenue generated uh, for taxes to spend on our public services. So that's all about having successful businesses, making it easier to start up your own business and making it easier to get onto the jobs ladder and get a high a high wage job. That's what I'm about. But, but the state's doing too much, don't you think? Well, what I think is that the private sector hasn't grown fast enough. And economic growth means more opportunities. It means people being able to uh, have more you know, money to spend on, you know, whether it's a new car or uh, other opportunities or you know, supporting their children. That's what I want for people. I want those opportunities and that, that growth. So that, that's, it's not that the state is growing too much, it's that we haven't seen businesses grow enough. Um, lots of talk about November 23rd. Is it going to be this month? Is it going to be November 23rd? Uh, this announcement and there will be our forecasts. Well, we've got the date of November the 23rd. So this is when we're going to. This is when we're going to set out the OBR forecast, but also our medium-term fiscal plan. And what we've done is we've had to take very urgent action to deal with the immediate issues we face: the energy price, the uh, inflation and a slowing global economy. And if you remember, people were facing energy bills of £6,000. We've dealt with that. You know, the maximum is now uh, 2500 for a typical family. That's also going to help curb inflation by mm. up to 5%. And the tax holding tax low is going to mean that economic growth is faster, which is also really important. But now we've dealt with that. We want to set out our plans to bring down debt as a proportion of GDP in the medium term. Um, is what's been happening in the English Channel this year a crisis? Look, I'm determined that we get to grips with what's been happening with small boats. These appalling people traffickers are causing huge human misery and we need to get to grips with it. And that is what the Home Secretary is determined to do. The record numbers, I mean, is it a crisis? I mean, for lots of voters, they really do think it's a crisis. The government's just not been managed, managed to... Well, I mean, the, the label crisis is... That's not the point. The point is it shouldn't be happening no. and we're going to stop it happening. Are you going to do more deals beyond Rwanda, do you think? I do want to look at more deals beyond Rwanda. I also want to make the Rwanda policy work by making sure we can control our own laws and we can't be overruled by the ECHR. Um, we saw riots in Leicester last month between Hindus and Muslims. I mean, is that a sign that actually multicultural Britain isn't working? Well, what we need to see is we need to make sure that we are properly policing uh, these, the, these issues and that we are dealing with it uh, properly across the country. But, but, I mean, you know, this is something that went on for a weekend. It wasn't widely reported, actually, but it was lot-scale rioting. I mean, what do you think that says about like places like Leicester, where actually, you know, there are sectarian and racial tensions? Well, it's obviously extremely concerning, but this is a matter that needs to be dealt with by law enforcement because that kind of thing is, is not acceptable. Um, just a quick couple of questions, if I can, on do you think Channel 4 should be privatised? Well, what, what I've said is, first of all, Channel 4 should definitely stay in Leeds. I think that's a very <laughs> uh, important priority. And we will look at the business case and make sure it's value for money. Is it a barnacle of the boat, though? Not necessarily. We need to look at the business case and make sure it's value for money. Um, the Elga marbles, do you think they should be returned back to Greece? George Osborne said there's a deal to be done. Uh, I, I don't support that. OK. Um, uh, just a few quick questions, if I can. Um, what's your favourite type of cheese? Ah, there's quite a few. <laughs> a British cheese, though, I I hope. do like Stilton. <laughs> um, your favourite Taylor Swift song? Blank space. Um, if you had a go for a cup of tea, who would you choose, Rishi Sunak or Michael Gove? Both of them, of course. <laughs> uh, and if this was, if it's another life, another career, what, what else would you think you would do if you weren't being Prime Minister? Be a food critic. <laughs> Just very finally, Prime Minister, on 
on you. A lot of people supported you this summer because they thought that you were someone who was going to stick by your word, that you would do, you wouldn't U-turn. And yet, in the first couple of weeks, you've already done a massive U-turn. How can you convince people that, you know, you're, you're not going to do that in future? Well, the package that we announced was a very important package, the energy price guarantee, the tax reductions on national insurance, keeping corporation tax low. The 45 pence was a relatively small part of that package. What I did is I listened to people. And I am somebody with clear convictions who wants to get things done, but I'm also somebody who listens to reason. And the fact is the 45p was creating a distraction from what we were trying to achieve with the package, which is supporting people through this winter, but also making sure that we're getting our economy do, growing in the long term. Do you get my point, though, as in, like, as I say, people liked you because, essentially, you weren't going to U-turn and now you have. Then it seems that the party's in charge of you, not you in charge of the party. The vast majority of our package is proceeding. And, in fact, we've already implemented the energy price guarantee. We're implementing the national insurance reverse. We're keeping corporation tax low. But it's also right that a prime minister listens to people. And I'm somebody who listens to people who takes things on board and who acts decisively. And what I've done this week is I've acted decisively to deal with this issue, which was creating a distraction from what is a very exciting growth package. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks Thank you.